Overwatch developer update. Um, this one, you're the dog. Tim! Hello, everyone. This hey, is Jeff. Jeff from the Overwatch team. Hey, Jeff. We're here to talk to you today. Hey, you just about wasted our your money. Lol in chat. Called Year of the Dog. Uh, we're super excited for it this year because we have a lot of awesome stuff skr, skr. coming. The biggest and best part of the Year of the Dog celebration, in my opinion, is a brand new map that skr, we'll skr. be bringing you. This map takes place in Thailand. It's absolutely gorgeous. One side of the map is ancient and shows some uh, uh, temple that's very, very gorgeous. And the other side is uh, bright and beautiful and very modern. We think you'll enjoy it, but the coolest part, in my opinion, is it's the first map that we've ever built specifically for Capture the Flag. As you guys know, we introduced Capture the Flag last year during the Year of the Rooster event, and we wanted to bring it back this year, but make a custom map specifically for Capture the Flag. We thought we could do a lot to improve the game mode. We also took a lot of uh, feedback and advice from you guys and we looked at the game rules in CTF and we made a bunch of changes. So let me walk you through those as quickly as possible. First off, there's no more draws anymore. We know historically every time we've had draws in Overwatch, there's been discontent in the player base and we wanna get rid of draws. We know that they're not very exciting and they can feel very anticlimactic. So we've added a sudden death mechanic. If the two teams are tied at the end of time, what will happen is both teams' flags are moved closer to the center of the map, and then the map resumes at that point, and the teams will go for the flags, and then they only have a very short distance to cap. Um, the other thing that's very exciting is we've changed the, the flag pickup rules. So now picking up the flag is skr, skr. instant, but if you use certain abilities, and these abilities are limited to things that either give you invulnerability or give you great mobility, <clears throat> those abilities will drop the flag. We call these restricted abilities. So certain abilities, like I'll give you an example, Winston's uh, leap, his, his jump pack, will, will drop the flag when he uses it. We found that by doing this, that the rate of capture is much higher. The games are now much more offensive um, and much more action-packed. And it's actually very rare for games to I'm surprised they didn't do that before, that to be honest. So we think it's really <clears throat> exciting. Uh, Capture the Flag plays fantastically on the new map. Um, there's something else very exciting coming for Year of the Dog, and that's that we will be having a three, uh, actually not three week, four week competitive season for Capture the Flag. Dog champ! Uh, so we think this will be a lot of fun. If you get in the top 500, you'll get a special spray and player icon. Is it Q um, Is it Q Pop? It's been like, hang on. I just want to make sure. I, did I miss it? I'm sure you guys would be telling me if I actually missed it. Somebody who places will also get a special uh, spray, so that should be very cool. And just playing skr, skr. CTF at a competitive level, we think will be fun for a few weeks. Now, as I just mentioned, I corrected myself. I said four weeks. This Lunar New Year event, Year of the Dog, is going to run for four weeks this time. And something we learned last time where when we ran the event is because a lot of people are traveling during Lunar New Year, they actually missed part of the event last year. Hmm. So we wanted to extend it to give more people a chance who were traveling <coughs> to experience the event. So we think that should be awesome. Uh, some other things that I think you'll be very excited about. I know that you all love uh, skins and there are six amazing legendary skins as part of Year of the Dog. Uh, to That's what this is what I'm curious and about. A teaser of two of the heroes that will be getting skins. Now I know that there's some of our least played heroes, but Mercy and Genji will both be getting skins, and I think you'll find them to be pretty awesome. I was totally kidding about them being least played, by the way. Um, we also have a really cool highlight That's my dad. for one of the heroes coming, um, and a lot of other really great Prepare content. So we death. think you'll find that to be a lot of fun. All in all, uh, we had a ton of fun making this event. We hope you has a, have as much fun playing it as we did making it. Okay, I'm not. I don't want to spoil any of the skins for me, so I'm not even gonna look. <clears throat> um, my dog treats her toys like her puppies. She cares. She walks around, licks them if you move them. But she picks. She, she walks you like a hawk. Sometimes put them all in the box. She'll pick it out until she finds her favorite one. That's awesome. Flavorless. Thank you for your five, dude. Slider, thank you for three months.